Hello and welcome to this video. Today we'll be taking a look at the O-Drive servo controller. The O-Drive servo controller is a open source project that allows you to take any brushless motor and turn it into a brushless servo. The system is very uh, high performance and uh, you can get some really cool results. Along with the O-Drive controller I purchased one of the largest the largest motor they offered. This is the 6374 150 kV motor along with the CUI encoder. So in order to take any motor and turn it into a brushless servo, you need some kind of an encoder. This is a cheap 400 pulse per revolution encoder that you can get for about $10 from eBay. You can also get these in variations that have 600, 800, 1024 or even 2500 pulses per revolution. The encoder will give precision feedback to the controller. I have made some enclosures that enable you to mount the encoder onto the motor. So this is the first enclosure. This works with the 6374 motor from O-Drive and the CUI encoder. The motor is mounted with four M4 bolts and the rest is put together with M3 bolts. It's, it's the uh, NEMA 34 package, so you could mount this on a CNC mill if you wanted to. Here's a quick look at the CAD model. And please remember this is free to download on thingiverse.com. This is the faceplate where you mount the motor and this is the cover where you mount the encoder. And here's a quick look at the section view. This is the other enclosure that I've built. This works with the 5060 motor and the standard optical encoders. The motor is mounted with the four included screws and everything else is put together with M3 bolts. As said, this system can be made with 400, 600, 1000 or even 2500 pulses per revolution on the encoders. I think all of them will fit easily. So compared to the other system, this is, this is smaller, more lightweight and cheaper, but it's not as high performance. In order to connect the encoder shaft to the motor, there is a small coupler. The encoder shaft simply slides in and then there is a small grub screw which secures the shaft in place. It's very important that there is no slip between the encoder and the motor. And here's a quick look at the CAD model. It's only three pieces the faceplate, cover and the coupler. And here you can see the section view. And as you can see, the encoder is mounted from inside with three M3 bolts. All models are free to download on thingiverse.com. Thank you very much for watching.